Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. Hi, I'm Jill, and today we are going to make a cherry pie that is just in time for these cold, blustery fall days. It's the Offy Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. So before we get started, make sure that you click subscribe and also click on the bell to get notified of when any new content comes out. And let's get started. So cherry pie. Um, I'm going to start by telling you I buy these uh, frozen cherries from 365. They're dark sweet cherries. And I just buy them frozen uh, because, you know, cherries aren't always in season. And the cherry season here is already done. So we're going to start with our crust. And our crust is just a really basic, simple um, crust with three ingredients. So I've got a cup and a half of almond meal, a third of a cup of arrowroot powder, or you can use tapioca starch. They're basically the same thing. And what I've got here, I've got um, two tablespoons of flax meal and four tablespoons of water that I have already had sitting here for about five minutes because you want it to gel up like that. That's kind of what's going to glue all of this together. And we're going to put a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And I squeeze it like this into my hand so that I can catch the seeds. The seeds just end up falling into my hand. So then I don't have to use any, any more gadgets mess up any more dishes. Okay. So we're just going to stir this up and get it until it mashes together all into a ball. Okay, there we go. There we have our ball. It's all nice and stuck together. And I already have my oven preheated to 350. So you want to do that, you know, first so that it can be preheating while you're making your crust. Just gonna set this aside. And I've got two pieces of parchment paper. I've got one on the bottom, and I'm just gonna press it out lightly. And then I'm gonna put another piece on the top. Because just like a regular pie crust, this is really sticky. And it sticks to your uh, rolling pin really bad. And because this isn't like a regular flour, I can't just dust more flour onto my rolling pin because this kind of, you know, almond meal doesn't really work like that. It won't keep it from sticking. So I'm just going to roll it out, and I've got a 9-inch um, pie plate here. You can use, you could probably use a little bit smaller pie plate. I just don't have a smaller one. This is just a uh, regular size. So we're just going to kind of eyeball it, you know, keep rolling your crust out until, you know, it's big enough to fit in this pie plate. Okay, that's pretty close. So what I love about parchment is that you can just peel it right off. Super handy. Mine's a little oblong here. Bring over my plate, flip it over, and plop it down in there. And then you can adjust it. So you gotta kind of pull it around a little bit. And this is a great, this crust sticks together so nice. Okay, and then we're just, you know, we're just pressing it down into our pan. And, you know, you might have to peel a little bit of pieces out to, to make uh, the edges look a little better if you didn't get a nice circle like I didn't. <laughs> and then I like to just kind of press the edges down just a little bit, you know, with two of my fingers together to give it a little bit nicer looking of an edge, you know, a little bit more like a traditional looking cherry pie. And I think cherry pies, my mom used to make cherry pie. My mom uh, worked in a bar and grill for many, many, many years and mainly served, you know, we lived in Nebraska in a really small town in Nebraska and one of the neighboring towns had this little bar and grill and all the local farmers would come there in the morning and have their breakfast. She'd make them you know, eggs and bacon and coffee and all that kind of stuff, toast. So they'd go in there every morning and she'd make them breakfast Then they'd all sit around and chat. And then my mom started making pies because she'd also stay there through the lunch hour and make lunches. So 
she started making pies and sold pie by the slice. So she'd have a different kind of pie every day. And one of her pies was this cherry pie. But instead of like the classic cherry pie with a lattice top, she would put a crumble on the top, which is so delicious. And that's what I'm gonna do because I think it's just delicious. Okay, so now for our filling. So I'm just gonna pour almost all of the cherries in there. I'm gonna leave about a half of a cup in the bag because we're gonna make a little bit of a, a sauce to pour on them. So I'd say that's about a half a cup. And I'm gonna put it in my little blender cup. And I've got my Nutribullet here. You can use a regular blender or, you know, a magic bullet. Same thing. So we're just gonna push our cherries down a little bit. And then we're gonna make this little sauce. So I have about a half a cup of the cherries. And then I have a tablespoon of arrowroot powder and a half a cup of water. I'm just gonna blend this up really quick and pour it over that pie. All right, and it looks liquidy now, but as the pie cooks, that arrowroot will set up. and give you just a little bit of that, you know, that little sauce in there, the kind of gooey sauce, it's so nice. Okay, now for the crumble. Same thing, super easy. I've got a half cup of oat, half cup of almond meal, and I'm gonna put in three dates. Dates are gonna be our sweetener. So you gotta take the seeds out. So the same thing, you could do this in your food processor or just a regular magic bullet. We're just gonna try to blitz it up until, um, you know, it's well incorporated in like crumbly. It is a sticky crumble, but you'll see. Okay, that's it. See how it's just, uh, it's just crumbly. So we're just gonna sprinkle it over the top. And there, there might be some big clumps in there, you know, just break them up with your hands. Sprinkle it over the top. And you don't have to use it all if you don't want to, but I really like, I really like the taste of this crumble. So I'm gonna use almost all of it. That looks, huh, let's just use it all. And then we're just gonna use, use a light dusting of cinnamon over the top. And we're gonna stick this in the oven for about 45 minutes. And then voila. Okay guys, look at that cherry pie. It's done and I've let it cool for, you know, about 15 minutes. Now we get to taste it. So the outside is very crisp, so it is a little bit hard to cut through. But you can tell the bottom is just the perf perfect texture. Okay, now let's see if we can get this out of here without breaking it to a million pieces. Looks good, looks good. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh, my mom would be so proud right now. But the best part is that I get to taste it. Hmm. So good. I'll see you next time.